this is your department. Do you accept responsibility that this happened under your watch? I mean, the buck stops. Tonight, the Greenwood with, police with me, chief is uh, answering questions from WRTV investigates. Five of his police officers are off the force after they were accused of exchanging inappropriate messages on the job. Our Kara Kenny explains how it happened in the first place and why the city is now hiring a consultant. Five officers are gone. What message do you hope that sends? Well, I think it sends a very clear message that this isn't the culture of the Greenwood Police Department. We're not going to tolerate this type of behavior. Jim Eisen is the police chief at the Greenwood like Police said, Department, an agency that's faced scrutiny in recent months after five officers were accused of exchanging obscene messages on their department laptops. This is your department. Do you accept responsibility that this happened under your watch? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, the buck stops with, with me. Disciplinary documents show officers use derogatory language to describe African Americans, gay people, and Jews. Some examples? You're being awfully Jewish tonight. The fat at Popeyes didn't give me my sauce. What was your initial reaction when you read those messages? Disgusted. Um, upset. The chief says he first saw the messages in July after the city's legal team preserved them as part of a federal lawsuit filed by then officer Sam Bowen. Bowen's lawsuit alleges Chief Eisen retaliated against him for making Facebook comments that criticized the department and the chief. The city fired Bowen earlier this month because his messages violated department policy. There's not anything proud of. I see that it was wrong. I, I see that. I should have said those things. Dealing with stress, looking for a way to relieve it. That's the way I was taught to relieve it. I was young, I was valuable. I was taught this is the way we do things. Do you think it's part of the culture? I do not. I do not. I, I, I think that these were five bad actors. Can you say anything about the allegations in the lawsuit, the retaliation? The only thing that I will say is it's absolutely false allegations, but being that it's a pending lawsuit, I, I can't comment on anything. The chief moved to terminate four other officers, but they all resigned. Jacob Haggist, Zane Hennig, Elijah Allen, and Tyler Kinsell. Would you consider this a black eye for the department? Yeah, there's no way around it. It absolutely is. How did this even happen in the first place? Was there not enough oversight? Uh, we typically don't review the officer's instant messages. Officers message each other about everything from where to grab dinner to which stolen vehicle they're looking for. The chief says one officer generates thousands of messages a year, making it difficult to monitor. How big of an undertaking would that be? Uh, monumental. I did uh, some random sampling of other instant messages from every shift. Uh, there was nothing, anything like this. Although Eisen is confident the messages were isolated to the five officers, he is looking at requiring additional cultural diversity classes and training. And because of the racially derogatory messages, the city is also spending $40,000 to hire a consulting firm who will investigate whether any officers profiled citizens. So they're telling me about nine months we should have the results of that. The chief says the Johnson County prosecutor is also reviewing criminal cases that involve the five officers. Is it possible that there could be some cases thrown out? That Absolutely. Is. Greenwood PD is now down to 71 officers, but the chief plans to hire nine more, bringing their department up to 80 officers by February. His hope is to move the department past this stain and keep the public's trust. Kara Kenny, WRTV. The Johnson County prosecutor says, quote, this office will look at each individual case to determine if the potential evidence will have any impact on our ability to move forward with the prosecution since the officers in question are patrol officers, not detectives with large caseloads. We hope the impact won't be huge, end quote. And we reached out to all five officers who faced termination, but only Sam Bowen agreed to speak with us back in August. That story is linked to this story online at WRTV.com as well as his attorney's statement on his case against Chief Eisen.